piles of VHS tapes at your house. What are you going to do with them? There is a solution, and CBS News Science and Technology correspondent Daniel Seberg is here with the story. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Harry. You know, in October, JVC, the first and last company to make the VCR, announced it would suspend production on standalone machines. Now it's the VHS tape that's following suit. Pause, rewind, eject. It's been more than 30 years since those terms entered our entertainment lingo. Two for only $9 every day. I can record a lot of programs at these prices. VHS players became the hottest toy in town and redefined home entertainment. Prices were astronomical even by today's standards. But by the late 1980s, competitor Betamax had faded. And now VHS is ready to stop spinning too. Burbank businessman Ryan Kugler specializes in selling older formats to those who still want them. But as the last major supplier of VHS tapes in the country, he says he has no plans to continue. We finally decided to stop doing it because the, the demand is, is, is nil, it's nothing. There's no more demand for VHS anymore. It's not exactly a surprise for most people, and pop culture has poked fun at VHS for years. To be totally honest with you, you don't want to buy any VCR. It's a dead technology. If you want to get your hands on a VHS tape, you're going to have a hard time doing it. But the format's not dead yet. For example, here in the basement of this video store in New York, they've still got thousands of movies on VHS, and they rent as many as 20 to 25 every day. Good evening, Video Room. Is the Video Room was among the first movie rental stores in New York. It's a really durable format, and it's been a part of people's lives for a quarter century. While places like Blockbuster and Walmart have stopped selling VHS tapes, there are still plenty of people with home movies on them, keeping the nostalgia alive a little longer. And shouldn't people really start moving some of that stuff from VHS to disc because it will deteriorate? Oh, absolutely. Time, right? And it's a horrible storage technology. They're so bulky and yeah. big. So there are a few ways you can do it. Okay? Yeah, okay. You can get a dual player where you've got a VHS player and a DVD and, recorder right. together. Yeah. Or you can get something like this from Sony. It's called the DVD or DV Direct. Right. Okay? The key is all these inputs on the side here. Yeah. You literally just plug in your VCR to the side. Right. Okay, you see these component cables right here. Yep. Hit record on here, play on your machine. And you've got to sit and wait. So if you've got dozens of hours of home videos <laughs> that you have to sit through, it's right. going to take you a while. And sure. you, but it'll be on a DVD and you can watch it later. There you go. As simple as that. Pretty simple. Now, there are computer technologies, too. Some software from Elgato and a, right. and a device. And that way you can kind of edit and manipulate the clips afterwards. There so, you go. You know, there All are right. some ideas out All there. Right. Thank you.